Hi there, welcome to my video on how to create interactive true false questions using H5P. Uh, if you are new to this video, uh, you can check out my other videos on H5P and the different interactive uh, and engaging lesson types that you can use to build a great learning experience for your online course. So uh, with that said, I'm going to demo how to make really uh, exciting or more engaging true false questions with HIP. Uh, while most people can easily create, you know, a true false question in uh, like Google Forms or SurveyMonkey or Typeform, uh, H5P allows you to jazz up the true false question so that it's a little bit more exciting and a little bit more um, appealing to the end user. So let's get started. Um, if you are uh, uh, using H5P, uh, first of all, you will want to I usually go straight into the demo, but I just want to show you how you would find the different content types. So once you're logged in, you'll click on add content. And then add content will slowly uh, load and uh, show you the different sort of content types that are available to you. Um, it sort of tends to go with uh, different options of recently used. Uh, it can go with newest first, and then you can also look up specific content types from A to Z. But I'm really interested in the true false, which is uh, already in here. So I'm just going to pick the true false questions and show you how um, it can really make your course a little bit more exciting and appealing. So now that I've selected this content type that I'm going to use, I'm going to click on this use button and I can start building and creating and or authoring my content. Um, so let's just say I'm giving a true false question on uh, sugar uh, and I want to talk about what is good sugar versus bad sugar and I want to make this a fun uh, true false question. So let me just give this a title uh, and say um, uh, quiz on uh, good and bad sugars. So then I can start writing my first question is uh, which uh, is stevia a good sugar? And I might want to um, bold this uh, so that people who are taking this quiz can see that I'm uh, highlighting the word stevia um, in this quiz. And I can also, you know, format it and align it and make this bigger if I want. But um, for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to keep it simple. So is stevia a good or bad sugar? Let's just assume stevia is a good sugar. So I'll click true so that uh, people know when they're taking the quiz that that is a true uh, response. Now, uh, uh, before I uh, go on to the, adding the next question, um, H5P will give me some options uh, that is something helpful to sort of decide when you're uh, building these quiz questions. Now, assuming uh, as they got it true, that's great, but let's just say they got it false. Do you want to allow the student to retry? Do you want to show them what the answer is, uh, give them some confirmation, and give them some feedback? I think, all, in my opinion, as someone who has designed many um, online learning courses, I find that it really is helpful to sort of give hints um, because, you know, true false sometimes can be very subjective and um, can overwhelm the brain. So I think giving some guidance and some helpful hints is a great way to make learning more proactive and more educational uh, rather than saying, okay, you got it wrong and that's it. So I like to select all these options, but if you disagree with that approach, you can um, keep them unchecked. But so I like to enable retry so that a student can take the quiz more than once. Um, I also like to show the solution so that if the student is confused about why stevia is a good sugar, um, then I can give them an explanation. So I can say uh, stevia is a natural, I'm just making this up, um, plant-based sugar and um, very safe. Uh, to consume in small quantities, whatever. Um, so that's if they are uh, getting the question uh, correct. And then if they got it wrong, they say, well, uh, think about what you learned about sugar origins as a way to say, okay, if you got it wrong, uh, here's a helpful hint about why the answer may not be accurate so that you can go back and 
select the right answer. So the idea is either way, if they get it right or they get it wrong, I'm giving them helpful hints and guidance so that they can continue learning and continue um, to keep their brain jogging about uh, stevia and sugar. And this is just kind of um, really just a good way to sort of encourage learners um, every step of the way. And then the next uh, thing they're gonna ask you before you um, enter in the next question is, um, some of the settings so like my default language is english but you can feel free to change the english uh, to other languages and then they're going to ask you um if you want the answer choices to be true or what the label should say um true false you got it right you got it wrong and so there's all these little details that are important to consider and um think about uh, before you um, include this quiz into your course so I like to just stick with the true false. Maybe sometimes you want to change it so that it's not so binary. You can um, wrong answers should say wrong answer. Correct answer is correct. And then this is automatic. You got how many points out of how many points uh, based on the right and wrong answers. And then this is just great uh, to sort of go through and check. I'm not going to sort of uh, change too much because I want to keep this video kind of short. Um, and then finish, it will just sort of say when you're done, what do you want the header text to say? Um, if you're going, if the student doesn't want to finish the test, you, they'll pop up a text that says, are you sure you wish to finish? And then uh, the different button uh, labels um, can be customized. So this kind of an overview is that this quiz is very easy to build and there's also room for customization in terms of labels in terms of sort of the kind of text that you offer um, after a student either gets the right or wrong answer. So I like the fact that this quiz is um, not just a very simple quiz, but it can be customized. It really helps the learner to be proactive and it's also um, teaching and guiding the learner on their journey um, as well. And then uh, the same goes for the retry uh, button that can be customized the text. So if you don't like retry, is like you can say try again. And all of these labeled texts uh, can be customized as well. And then once uh, that is good and you like it, you want to make sure you click on save. And um, <clears throat> once that looks good to you, just Take a you know preview again to make sure everything is accurate uh, before you publish it. And then if it looks good, here is what the question looks like. Is it true or false? False. And then check. And they say, well, think about what you learned about your sugar organs. And then instead, uh, I can uh, customize label to say show the solution. Uh, I can also retry. And if I hit false again, I can hit retry again. So I, I like that this quiz really uh, encourages students to keep trying um, and it's very proactive and it's very uh, educational as well. So, um, and then uh, one last thing is to make sure uh, you have the options that you select. It's always set to protected, um, but if you wanna make it visible, you can. Um, the most important thing is if it's public that you are okay with the content being shared publicly and searched. Um, and if you are, just uh, copy this embed code and put it into your LMS. Um, I use uh, Thinkific, so you can uh, check out how I do it in Thinkific um, uh, next. So I'm in my Thinkific LMS, and what I'd like to do is to click on Add Lesson. And if you are following along, click on and look for multimedia. Give this a title, uh, true, false. And then make sure you just uh, select the link from here. Um, so I'm gonna copy the link and then paste it, but make sure I remove everything all the way up to the uh, embed here. And then move it delete everything else in front because I just want the link. And then once that looks good to me, I can click on save. And then I can preview this as a student in my course. 
And I'm going to look for that true false. Oh, um, so I'm going to grab the embed code. Um, make sure I put this in my LMS in ThinkFic. Delete everything um, in here until I get to that word embed. Um, I know it seems like a lot of work, but it's just important to get these details accurate uh, because it can affect the actual uh, experience uh, for your students. And then click on save. And now I'm going to preview it as an enrolled student. I'm going to look for this uh, true and false. And then now you can say false. And there it goes, it shows as I'd shown you earlier. And then if I retry it and true, it will give me um, the feedback uh, either way. So that's what I like about this kind of quiz. It's uh, very interactive. It's a little bit more what we call in the field of instructional design Gamify. You know, you get a star, you get rewarded, you got a point. And so that's really the whole idea behind this. So um, let me know if you have any questions about this uh, content type, uh, any HYP questions. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe, and let me know uh, what other questions you have. Thanks for watching.